catch up on all the live shows right here on africatechradio.com. We cannot overlook the fact that nudity and scams are a new normal for us as Nigerians on social media. And this is an adverse effect that social media has on the society. You know, like with a simple click, anyone can share or receive offensive and harmful comments from offensive explicit photos to phishing scams. Social media has created a world where it is easy to fall victims to exploitation and it's not just affecting individuals it's affecting businesses and organization and we are all trying to navigate this new landscape with this i welcome you to africa tech radio cruise control is the program and midday daniel is the host and today we're doing something a little bit different we're discussing not just things that are happening with your social media apps or their founders or all your favorites we're also discussing ways to deal with some things on social media and even some some news about nigeria and social media so first and foremost we're dealing with how can we address negative effects of social media in nigeria and c- promote peace in the country we all know that a lot of these are uh, social medias our favorite social media applications have in the re- in most recent times had issues in other country as a result of burning and i've always said it that we are seeing these countries do it, even african countries doing it but we never see how our lovely country nigeria doing it when is nigeria going to take a stand against the social media applications and quite unfavorable things that they bring into our viewing well i think it's about time people are starting to talk about it the most important way to address some negative effects of social media is to sensitize people about the dangers of social media now we also tell people let them know that social media is is lovely it's interesting you know we can use social media for our businesses we can use social media to do a lot of things and it's very interesting because we're in the cyber security month so we have to understand the our we have to have awareness of different things that social media is about not just the good side we can share you know we share pictures you can promote your businesses you can keep in touch meet new people we can do all sorts but we also know that people get scammed by social media people get killed through social media people receive all forms of content that are not to be viewed and all sorts of things like that and these things should be we should know about these things so that we can work against them So we have to educate people, young people, old people, all people on the risk of sharing their personal information online. I saw a video, quite creepy. It's not, I I don't want, it was a video of someone on TikTok and he said, oh, that women nowadays are so easy to to stalk and find that, oh, what did you do last Friday? Or what do you do every Friday? You're at this club. What do you, where do you stay? Your area, you stay in Lekki, you have a black gate in front of your house. You stay on Admiralty. This is the color of your gate. If I enter into Admiralty, if I drive down, I'll drive down Admiralty, I'll find probably find your gate. You know, we are very like quick to share information about ourselves on social media. Oh, I'm outside. You know, you're sharing your location. Everybody knows you're outside. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows that. I remember this celebrity, this musician that was killed because his girlfriend mistakenly shared where they were and he just came in and poof, poof, poof. They shot him and it, that was all because the girlfriend had shared their location. And she didn't even intentionally. She just posted a picture on her story that had the location of where they were and they just came in and and killed him and that was it so we have to be careful about the type of information that we put online also we have to understand the dangers of cyberbullying i remember that i had a conversation with some guys and we were talking about cyberbullying and they were like oh it's, it's almost like the norm because everybody is savage you know social media has turned to a place where everybody's savage everybody wants to 
who can clap back the best who can who is savage this is what we're doing on social media and some people's minds you know some people cannot deal with that some people's mindset is so fragile and they can't deal with that so be careful of what you put online you can stay on social media and watch you don't have to put so much things about yourself if you cannot accept it please don't put so much things about yourself if you cannot accept criticism also i believe that nigeria should put in better and stricter regulations for social media you know there should be laws to prevent the spread of misinformation and hate speech because i i said something i think last week i said that for a while i i left twitter because the kind of information that we began to spread it was so injurious it was very bad it could you first you don't even know what is true and what is a lie these people are saying this is it these people are saying that is that and all that you get on social media is false news and we believe that you hook line and sinker and it's just very funny because what is the truth so there have to be stricter rules in regulating false news you know for just for the safety of information and people also, social media platforms should take more responsibility in monitoring and removing harmful content. You know, there are some theories that have come and said certain, like I'm not going to mention it, but that a certain social media application pushes some sort of narrative towards a, some sort, some country. So the narrative they push in their country is different from the narrative that they're pushing to some countries just trying to create false news and not just false news just trying to create different false narratives and so i feel like if these social media applications take stricter measures i think meta that's facebook is taking stricter measures with monitoring and removing harmful content which some social media platforms are not just allowing they're sort of appreciate i don't i don't want to use the word appreciating but they're supporting in a way that because i like i wasn't going to mention names but look like look at x for instance x is paying people for buzz boost, right so I'm, okay well it's paying people for engagement i just like to say it's paying people for buzz boost because now people are writing and coming up with all forms of things just for engagement and once they're doing this what is it they're just doing this and people are coming up with false news fake narratives and all sorts just trying to have engagement on x to make sure that they get paid you know everybody's getting verified so that they can start writing all sorts just to make sure that they get paid by twitter so social media apps should take more responsibilities in making sure that their app is safe for people to use so even recently the chief justice of the federal capital territory of nigeria justice uzaini baba yusuf has expressed concerns over the negative effect of social media on the administration of justice he declared that the 2023-2024 legal year is open and he said that the judiciary's essential task is to make independent and impartial decisions on disputes brought before them he also added that the judiciary's goal was to uphold the principle of openness, transparency, and accessibility in administering justice. He said it was pertinent to draw attention to one social media evil that confronts the administration of justice in this jet age of technology. He referred it to the menace of social media. He said that social media platforms are channels of misinformation, violation of rights, disinformation, bullying, fake news, and online harassment. He said that the alarming rate at which unverified allegations and malicious attacks on or against innocent persons are recklessly posted and spread around on social media denotes how so low civility has declined in our society at large. He said that the truth remains that when institutions are maligned and debased, their evil effects will percolate on the entire society. He had so much to say about the evils of social media and spreading false news. And he said that for 
the effectiveness or function of judges they have to be respected regarded and protected he also said that the fct judiciary wants to deliver an exemplary justice that can repose confidence in the members of the public and had made several challenges with that being said i'm going to be telling you some of the latest information about you know as usual your favorite social media applications so now x formerly known as twitter has debuted a two price options for premium users now you know there's already a premium package that has a three tier plan this additional plan is going to effect very soon and they will have an ad free option at 16 dollars a month now there's a basic three dollar a month option and that one doesn't come with a check mark it offers options to write longer posts background video playbacks and other posting securities but there's no check mark and that is at three dollars as opposed to the ad free one with all the other all the other functions at sixteen dollars. It's also said that X has rolled out audio calling on the application. Okay, so as it is our X, our all in all app, our app for everything is coming more and more into play and now you can make calls via X. On Meta, Facebook is doing away with room in groups users will no longer be able to access current rooms in their groups users are now instead encouraged to create a video call from their facebook feed you know i said earlier that some social media apps i mentioned meta facebook saying that they put more accountability on the type of content that they allow now Meta is focusing on media responsibility with the debut of their Meta for Business site. So the announcement said that across all these pillars, they recognize their responsibility as an industry leader to stay accountable, collaborate and take action. So now this site focuses on media responsibilities and allows others, including their partners, to put Meta's feet to fire on accountability for their work and what they produce the four media responsibility pillars focus on one safety and expressions for users and brands diversity equity and inclusion efforts privacy and transparency with data practices and advertisers sustainability with the planet and making a difference i must say that this is extremely innovative and it means that facebook for one is t- putting or meta for one is putting into account safety of users and brands is making sure to 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 put everything together to make sure it's a safe app to use and this is something that it's should i call it a competitor yes the competing brand or the competing brand should emulate it's very important you know user safety is extremely important also on the tread app it's always funny when i hear treads the treads app because i don't know I'm, I'm i'm sure that we are getting to a place where the treads app is going to be such a big deal you know I, i'm i'm rooting for this application i'm really rooting for it because i read that they're almost at 100 million users yes 100 million tread users that's a lot yeah that they started small they started from the bottom now we're here so yes they did they're, they're getting there max zuckerberg has also announced polls and gifs are now available on thread it's time to add color and characters to these posts also facebook is experimenting with the option to create a profile picture using ai artificial intelligence Users can now choose their profile picture and sync it with their Instagram account, create an avatar profile, and generate the image with AI per the post. Facebook is also developing a write with AI option that lets users create posts based on their prompts, according to, well, part of the announcement. I think the most exciting one for me is that Instagram is now testing a new option 
to invite friends to take part in a user feed post let me explain so before posting like you know how we post a carousel we post 10 images you know 5 10 you can now turn on the ability for your followers to submit photos or videos to add then you can approve those and you can add them to the post so therefore if you want to post 10 pictures before let's say it's my birthday i'm trying to post 10 pictures you can invite my i can invite my friends to add their pictures of me to the post and then i'll approve which one just in case they want to act funny i can approve which and which i want to show on the post and it will be like a sort of collaboration but instead they actually have the chance to add to whatever i'm putting out i think this is actually very interesting and i'm i'm going to i know myself i'm going to overuse that particular one i'm going to use it over and over also meta has announced that it is adding reminder ads which will tell users about upcoming events and they are now available within ig stories i said this one earlier that instagram is testing out a meta only feed meta verified only feed where individuals in test in the test can filter those that they follow and see verified users only so it just basically if you're a better verified person you can choose to view content from only meta verified audiences so you can have the option to do that which i feel like is going to be very boring because you can when you're doing this meta verified only you're not if you're seeing meta verified that was paid for and not the actual maybe celebrity verification no you're doing meta paid meta verification i paid for meta verification you paid for meta verification now let's be mutuals that sort of thing also youtube is giving creators more control of their videos including the option to post comments so now viewers will notice that the, the comments are post i think they do that on instagram where you'll be able to see you'll be able to see old comments right but you will not be able to add to the comments or do anything so the comments will be post that way it, you can at least put a post to you know we know how social media can be with the cyber bullying okay if you notice that they are, you are having some type of content or some type of comments that you do not want you can post and put it on the ones when you had good comments and delete the ones that you don't want and leave it like that so it feels like oh you have only great content and nobody comments and nobody has is able to add more comments to that also youtube has recently rolled out an option for american english language users to double with playlist art on youtube music through generative ai per youtube it means that users can now make cover art for the music they love and get a little help from ai worldwide debuts are on the way it's still just only available in certain places but very soon everybody can use it so only american english language users can use it now but very soon everybody can do it and i can't wait so in as much as i spoke about the heels and negative effects on social of social media earlier you cannot we cannot for any reason put to what like put to one side or just undermine the very good and very great effects that social media has social media has become refuge for some people social media has become the great place a, a safe space for some people and it will just be better if social media continues to be our safe space you know social media apps should t- do their do their part you know everybody should do their part to make sure that social media keeps being a safe space for all of us it's just better that way like we can make life easier why do we have to make life so difficult for ourselves but oh as always please don't make social media your whole life meet with people are outside you know do things outside of social media do not let social media be the reason that you procrastinate or not do your work manage your time better yes manage your time better don't use all your day on social media please and also don't forget to from time to time take a social media detox you know take break from social media look up from your phone sometimes look up from your phone don't you look up look up yes look up thank you say hi to people in front of you talk to people not every day social keyboard warrior keypad warrior sometimes just take a deep breath 
look up you meet people around you people they're interesting people everywhere not only on social media don't let life pass you by as you are just on social media balance is key you're listening to cruise control on africa tech radio with me daniel please 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 follow us on all our social media platforms africa tech radio facebook youtube instagram tiktok x formerly known as twitter we're on all streaming platforms at africa tech radio go to google and click africa tech radio.com and you'll find us there don't go anywhere the conversation never stops thanks for listening and don't forget to catch up on all the live shows right here on africatechradio.com